Hey fellow YouTubers, hey guys and girls both. I'm going to uh, try some topwater fishing to start with. It's early in the morning and I'm going to use my favorite devil horse compliment with a 20 pound test line and, uh, and I'm going to see if I can't get a really big fish on a topwater plug. It's one of the best times of the year. It's a spawning season. We're down here in the Everglades and uh, there's some really quality fish, six and seven and eight pounds that might bite the topwater. Now, as a backup, I always talked about a backup. And the backup is a nice worm, okay? I have a nice six and a half inch cut tail worm with a little screw in weight, and I have it ready in case I get a swirl where the bass doesn't take the plug. So let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm quiet. I'm gonna, a quiet presentation really pays off. Notice how I'm just moving around slow and easy. Okay, I'm gonna, Put my polarized glasses on. Now the polarized glasses are important because I'm seeing grass lines and stuff under the water and I want to work with uh, with working those edges. Okay, I made a nice little cast to the edge of some hydrilla. I can see it just under the water. I'm just going to let it sit there until the rings kind of circle out. Twitch it just a little bit. Twitch it again. I'm working it slow. The first couple little twitches are just every just little small two inch little deals. I did see a little bass swimming by here a minute ago. Let's see if that's a bass right there. Let it sit there till the ripples and rings die away. Little teeny twitch at first. Watch for the water movement. Watch for the water movement. Nothing so far. Oh, there it is. I got him. 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 That's what we're talking about, sucking it down. He just came and sucked it down. He, he, what, it's not a real big fish, but it's just characteristic of all these calm days, how they just, he just come up like a bluegill and just suck the, suck the plug right under. That was such a cool, cool, cool setup. He is, again, not a big fish, but it was neat the way he hit because he just came and sucked the plug down and it was just a, a really cool deal. Okay, let's try the same spot because see this time of year, you don't know if there's not another bass there. There could be a big female in there too. Could be a male and a female on a spawn bed. Let's try another cast right there. Another one, another one. Yeah, better one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a nice one. That's top water fish. That's a top water bass. That's what we're talking about, folks. Top water fish, top water time, top water time. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. I'm gonna show you a little bit about top water fishing today. Nice calm day, working down some of these areas. Ooh, that's a good one, son. Had to come in about a four or five pounder. Yes, sir. That's what it's all about. That's a good one. Let me turn the boat around. We go five pound bass. I tell you what I'm going to do though, just because I need this on, on my, I do a posting on fish brain. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give my cameraman this, this phone and I'm going to take a picture of that topwater fish. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Nice big old five pound bass. Beautiful, beautiful bass. That's what we're talking about folks. I'm going to let him go to be caught again another day. Son. Let me show you that plug real quick. Ooh, look at that one. What I've done, you know, I've put bigger hardware. When you buy these, this happens to be a devil's horse. And when you buy them, they have smaller screws. So I go to either Bass Pro Shop or, or, or one of the other tackle shops that you can buy bigger hardware. And I buy bigger hooks to go into these clevises right here. And also buy these little, that holds a propeller. That screw eye, the original one's only this long, I buy them real long and they go way back in there so it's, it's, it's much stronger. They don't tear this apart. I'm using 20 pound monofilament uh, on the end of that. And what I'm doing basically is I'm just sewing to these shady places like underneath that shady tree. And I'm just let it sit there and just slow and easy. That was a nice one. Some good ones. There's some good ones around here, son. Let's ease down this bank. 
Top water time. Now here's another little trick. I just want to show you something. Sometimes I'm going to purposely get hung up. I'm going to just show you what I'm going to do. There's a little vine sticking out there, but I'm going to purposely throw over it and get hung around it. And I just want to show you an idea. The biggest bass, one of the biggest bass I think I ever caught. Okay, see that? I'm on the other side of that little twig. Oh no, it came loose. But sometimes I'll throw it on a little twig like that. And what it'll do, it'll, uh, it'll just sit there and vibrate. I'll just sit there and twitch it and twitch it and twitch it right in front of that fish. And some of the biggest fish I've ever caught have been after I've twitched it about 20 times. I'm actually on a little limb or on a little piece of grass and I'm, it's just sitting in one spot, just twitching and twitching and twitching and twitching. And sometimes they'll come and get it. Sometimes. Okay, pitch cast again underneath the log, underneath the big tree. There, look at that. See, you couldn't throw in that any other way than a pitch cast. Oh, there's one. Oh, guess what I got, folks? Look at this guy. This is this guy. This is not a good thing. It's kind of a bad thing. It's kind of a bad thing. It's a, it's a big gar. Oh, I'm glad he got off. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, that's wonderful. But there's a lot of fish. There's mud fish in here. There's gar fish in here. There's big bass. All kind of stuff. There's another fish called a Mayan cichlid that sometimes bites. And another one that's called an Oscar that sometimes bites. And these are aquarium fish from Miami that get loose into these canals and they bite the lures. Oh yeah, yeah, big one, big one, big one, big one, big one. Big, one. big bass, big bass, big bass, big bass, big bass. Big bass, sucked it down, sucked it down just like he's supposed to. Just sucked it down. That's exactly what they're supposed to do. He did it, he did it. He just sucked it down. He just sucked it down. That's exactly what they do. He just came up underneath it, a big old five or six pounder, and just sucked it down. That's 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 the top order thing this time of year. I'm telling you, it just it's just amazing. It was just a little bitty strike. Wasn't much to him. Big old bass. Big old giant bass. That's what we're talking about. That's that's what it's all about. That's. That's top water fishing. That's top water fishing there, boys. And I don't have a net, so I've got to be careful. i got to come like this. Okay. Big old bass. Big old bass. Yes, sir. And he just sucked it down, just like I'm saying. Now, I was kind of moving out a little faster that time. That may be something to do with it. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Beautiful bass. That's what that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Sucking it down. Just sucking it down. Now what happened if you notice and why I decided to do that was a cloud came over the sun and it got a little hazy and cloudy right here. And that made a difference. And I threw it out there next to the weeds. Oh, I didn't do a good job. And just kind of switch it along. I was just twitching it slow and easy right along the, along the deep edge. See that, that edge of weeds, it's, it's like six or eight feet deep right off the, it's way deep. This is a very deep canal. And so uh, this canal is like 15 feet deep. So as these weeds end, it's way deep. It's like five or six feet deep right at the edge. And I just, I was just kind of going along kind of fast. I'd been going a lot slower. But that, that one hit on kind of a faster deal. And so I'm gonna to have to try that. You know, there's nothing in stone. Retrieves change, all kind of things change. I'd been doing a much more quiet, subtle approach, but that, that last fish, he's a nice one. He hit kind of fast, and I was kind of just twitching along fast like this. And he came up and just sucked it down. Such a neat strike. Such a neat strike. These overhanging trees can be a real plus. So I'm looking at that overhanging tree with this pitch cast right under there. See? Perfect. Let it sit there, twitch it a couple times. Whoo! Whoa! You didn't get it. 
Look at that. My cichlid underneath it. There's a cichlid underneath it. Mine cichlid underneath it. He didn't bite it, but he came up under it. I could see him. I could see him underneath the plug. A Mayan cichlid. We'll see what happens. Oh, little fish. Come on in his mouth. Big fish. Oh, oh, heavens. Oh, that was a big one. That was a big one. That was a big one. Oh, my heavens. He was a big one. Oh, heavens. You know, that's the thing about coming down here to the Everglades. What you think you're going to catch is a big bass. Now, that's the fun of it all, just thinking about it. You know, you might not catch a big bass, but if you anticipate it, if you're thinking about catching it, and that's what your deal is, big bass, you're having a lot of fun with that. There's one. Bass, there's a bass right on that point. Oh, he got off. He got off. I had a good hook set on him. I don't know what happened. I had right on this point of grass. Huh. Small one. Hey, it was good. Better than nothing. Don't, I don't miss a lot of fish with these hooks that I have. They're pretty, pretty effective. I don't use, usually lose a lot of them. And with 20 pound line, you can set the hook pretty hard and you hardly ever lose one. Once you hook them, most of the time they stay hooked. I'm using a fairly light rod. It's a six and a half foot, uh, it's a favorite rod, but it's, it's a, a kind of a medium action. It's not a heavy action. But for top water, like for a top water, you don't need a heavy rod. You really don't. There's a bass. There's a little bass. Oh, <laughs> I'm telling you what, folks. <laughs> I'm getting a few, I'm getting some action now. A, a few, a little bit every gars are hitting and cichlids are hitting and bass are hitting and I'm getting a couple big ones and a couple little ones and hey, this is a fun day. Top water is so much fun. Ooh, there's one. Oh yeah, that's a bass, a nice bass. That's a better bass. Yes, yeah, sir. He just sucked it down again. He just sucked it down. Decent bass, decent, decent one, decent one. Tell you what, folks, this top water action, you just can't beat it. To see these fish bite and that, see them suck it down like that last one did, I, and just like, and I've had three or four really nice bass to bite today, and these are, these are good quality fish, and it's just a lot of fun watching them. It's a lot of fun. Be careful of these hooks. But I tell you, if you want some of the most exciting bass fishing, you know, try a top order. And I love these devil horses. That's my deal. Try pitching them while you're at it. It's such a lot of fun. It's it just really great. Listen, I post every Friday uh, for like a what's happening rolling deal on a Friday. But then Wednesday's about six o'clock and Sunday about six o'clock. I do a regular how-to kind of format. Catch beautiful bass like this. I tell you folks, you can't beat it. I appreciate you subscribing. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.